Hopes were high for Boston University hockey fans who crowded Fenway Johnny's to cheer on the Terriers during the Frozen Four semifinal watch party. But Denver took a 2-1 victory at the end of the matchup. A couple of our key players maybe didn't play as well as we had hoped, so just pretty frustrated right now because I really thought we'd be in the title game Saturday night. It just seemed like we really struggled to uh, to set up plays to get to keep the puck in uh, in Denver's end and get a lot of scoring opportunities. So offense seemed to struggle a little bit. Energy was soaring when the Terriers outshot the Pioneers 10 to three during the game's first period. But hopes for BU fell once the Pioneers picked up momentum midway through the game, leading to their big win. I mean, I think I knew it was going to be tough. Denver is is ranked highly. So it, they did. They played well in the beginning. Um, I had a feeling it was going to be a close game. Toplinski said he thought the game could have been played more fairly. The refs didn't call some things, and especially the one call where like the ref was clearly in the way and a hindrance, and then there was no call. So I know that's like a, a cop out to say like what did they do wrong, but I, I think the refs weren't the best this game. This is only the fourth time BU and Boston College have made it to the Frozen Four together. And if BU defeated Denver, they would have taken on top-ranked BC in the championship. It definitely wasn't our best game. I feel like we started off pretty strong, but progressively just got more and more nervous. And that definitely led to a lot of turnovers. And, you know, our passing definitely could have had some work. But, I mean, at least we made it here. I hope for next season that Macklin Brady and Lane Hudson stay. And then with the new guys, with Iserman and the younger Hudson that we really come back, um, we can win next season. Reporting for BU TV, I'm Chloe Adams.